A case study in the power of social media. An interview from, get this, 2006 with Abercrombie & Fitch CEO Mike Jeffries has gone viral recently. He said on Salon Magazine, in, quote, every school there are the cool and popular kids, and then there are the not-so-cool kids. Candidly, we go after the cool kids. We go after the attractive, all-American kids with great attitudes and a lot of friends. A lot of people don't belong in our clothes, and they can't belong. Are we exclusionary? Mm. Absolutely. <laughs> Powerful and stinging oy, words, oy, oy, again, oy, from oy. 2006, and they're surfacing now. Joining us now to talk about it, Jeffrey Hazlett, a new contributing editor for Bloomberg TV and CEO of the Hazlett Group, which offers strategic marketing and business development support for high-growth companies. This doesn't sound like a strategy to high-growth, Jeffrey. Well, you know, it, it is and it isn't, because even though he said these things, he's still up. It's almost a 52-week high on the stock. He's still doing pretty well. The problem is that, let's put this back in perspective. And first of all, I want to say, I don't don't think I'm going to be considered for one of the ads. I don't think I'm going <laughs> to be, so. uh, you know, as, as much of know. eye candy. But you do this, wait, you got those cowboy boots. I got the cowboy general. boots. So this is a 50, 54, I think, That's 54 long. Right. So, you know, it's not going to happen for me. But but there's still hope. There's still hope. But, you know, let's put this back. If this guy was 16 and said something like this, I would, I would consider him a bully. But what this is really saying is that also this stuff is sitting out there for six, seven years, and now it's coming back. And actually, it came to me yesterday that he actually said fat chicks. And wow. actually, Did he go, actually use those words? Never saw that he used those words, but somebody reported it to get it in that 140 characters, shortens it up, and that's right. what he says. Yeah. Now, this, this is part of the danger of the internet. I mean, there are it no can be editors. like a bad game of telephone. Right. Yeah, there are no editors. But people can say whatever they want. They can say whatever they want, but you want to look at this guy, too. I mean, a lot of people say, look, he's weird. Certainly, he's probably insane, but he's also unbelievably Careful brilliant. Careful what you say, Jeffrey. Yeah, well, it's okay. I'll, I'll stand with this. Probably brilliant and extremely driven. So he's really after that target market, which you got to give him What makes him, him so weird other than, you know, maybe some of the comments he's made? <laughs> well, let's think, go back to when he put out a 40-page manual about flying on the corporate plane. That you had to wear flip-flops. You had to wear boxers. You had to play a certain well, if you're song. A flight attendant, if you're a flight attendant, you mean? Yeah, absolutely. And if you, and he had to have a certain song by Phil Collins played when he entered the plane. By Phil and, Collins? Yes, exactly. <laughs> Phil, Phil's probably cringing right now. And not only get this, you had to, you had to spritz frequently the Abercrombie and Fitch cologne at certain intervals during the flight. Right, and and now weird. listen, he's I weird. had a corporate plane, and I might have asked for like maybe some Diet Mountain Dew and some beef jerky was as far as I took it. Right, so, right. you know, this is a little weird. And but that's the culture. And so these kids, are they taking it too far? They don't think they're taking it too far. I, they're just, they have no filter. They're just totally but, but insensitive. But affect sales? I mean, because you get people that are really angry about this. You have moms saying, I'm not right. going to shop there anymore. But the cool kids, the mean kids, they still have the mean click, you know, oh, uh, clicks and clubs. That's that where he's right. going, and they're exclusionary. Jeff Hayes, it's working. It's working. We're a contributing editor. It's an amazing story, and Scary. I imagine this won't go away. All right, we'll be right back here on Bloomberg. Trisha Mead.